Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Salik Does Art. I'm your host, Mr. Salik. Let's do some art. So today what I wanted to do is I wanted to create our own jigsaw puzzle. Now, one of the most important things about a jigsaw puzzle is the actual image. A jigsaw puzzle is an image printed onto some sort of thick cardboard-like material and then cut up into pieces with what's called a jig saw. You get these in a box and you look at all the pieces and you put them all together. They make ones for toddlers, you know, that are like nine pieces. And they make ones all the way up to 500 to 1,000 to 2,000 to whatever pieces for adults. But today we're going to do a pretty simple one. But I thought it would be fun to make an image and then cut it up and then make our own puzzle. So the first thing that I have here <clears throat> is my sketchbook. And I'm going to be doing an image here in my sketchbook. And then what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be gluing that image onto some box board, this uh, Fruity Pebbles board. So I actually traced the edge of the box so I know that it can't be, the image can't be any bigger than that onto my sketchbook. Then I'm gonna glue that paper onto the board, onto that thick material because you want some sort of thick material and then I'm gonna cut it up into pieces. Uh, you can also use cardstock, which is just a thicker kind of paper which is really uh, useful. I love cardstock. Cardstock is very useful uh, material for making art. Um, or you can just use regular paper. Uh, it will be very flimsy though. You want something that's a little bit more thick and a little bit more substantial because you're going to be moving it around. You don't want to get it all crinkled up. But if all you have is regular paper, that works for today. So let's get started. Let's figure out what we're going to make and then we'll glue it onto the cereal box. All right, so I have my drawing. Here is my butterfly. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it out and I'm gonna glue it onto the cereal box. So let's do that. Okay, I got my drawing, the butterfly, and I got my cereal box cut out. And I'd recommend gluing on this side, on the cardboard side, not the printed side because the glue is gonna bond better on this side. So let's go ahead and glue that on there. Before I glue this down, I just want to show real quick, you do not need a lot of glue. One thing that I try to teach my students is a little bit of glue goes a long way. Dot, dot, not a lot. So that's a pretty good amount of glue for what we're doing here. Now that I have it glued onto the backing board, I'm going to cut out my pieces. Now I have some decisions to make here as far as what kind of shapes I want my pieces to be. So I'm just gonna kinda go with the flow on how my pieces look, um, and we'll just see what how it turns out. All right, so I got all my pieces cut out. I ended up cutting them out into kind of like uh, jagged, almost like broken pieces of glass kind of shapes, but you can use whatever kind of shapes you want, whether it's curved lines or more traditional types of jigsaw pieces. Um, I think the more interesting the shapes, the better the puzzle. Um, just make it however you want to make it. So here I got my pieces right here. So just for fun, let's see how fast I can do it. Let's try to get it done in 30 seconds. And go. All right. I ended up doing 11 pieces. I'm not really sure why I ended up doing 11 pieces, but that's what I ended up with. And boom, what was that? I think that was less than 30 seconds. So anyways, um, real quick before I wrap things up here, puzzles are great for spatial awareness and spatial thinking. You're using parts of your brain that help um, when you're rotating pieces or figuring out where things go using all sorts of your, your visual part of your brain. And that stuff is helpful for anything that really involves your sight. So I think that jigsaw puzzles are really good, really healthy for getting those brain juices flowing. And hey, why not make your own too? That's even more fun. So this has been another episode of Mr. Salak Does Art. I'll see you guys next time.